up, yeah. Uh. I'm I'm excited to see what uh what Cole's gonna pick or how Cole's gonna do top lane because he's a support. He's like a platinum support player. And, Who's Cole? Uh, I oh he's playing Malphite. All right, and Malphite's pretty simple to play. Oh, okay. And you know, Who's Mr. The, uh... Microwave my piss, Mr. I have three accounts banned, and is actually pretty chill. And you know what? He's best team captain ever. He's my team captain, and uh, he's subbing in for their team's uh, missing silver top laner. Hey, I recognize the name. I'm like, did he switch up? <laughs> <laughs> he's a substitute, which I, I just got. But yeah. who's who's the diamond player again? Do you remember the name? Ball sacks, I think. He's jungle volley bear. No, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I is told you any... how I didn't realize those ball sacks until the commentators were like, "It's ball sacks." Yeah, I told you. Like, I don't know how they were saying it with a straight face, uh -huh. and you're and like, "I think oh, Lean Cuisine gone. is the like Diamond Master ADC." The I think he was the one okay. who was, who was talking. Uh, he said he was better than Renfis last game. I think. Pretty sure. Oh. Right. I know. I'm, I'm excited to see the ADC showdown of the year. Lin Cuisine versus Remphis. That that's what I'm looking forward to, man. I want it. This was uh was jungle. Hmm? What's Can up? he play? Um. Yeah, Matt was on my team last Renfis? semester. The Trundle. He was on my team last semester. We got second place. Oh, okay. Place. Yeah. Doesn't Renfis, Renfis one trick a champion? No. He plays a shit ton of Oh, okay, never mind. He's really good at Vayne, though. Like, really good. Like, okay, remember... that's what it was. Because I remember watching the game. Yeah. And then I remember Renfis. Oh, Lean Cuisine's well. doing his best Renfis impression with the Vayne pick. <laughs> 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 uh... Alright, so right now our team comp's looking like. Probably the red team has a lot of heavy engage. They got the volley bear. They got the Malphite ulti. They got the Nautilus. That's a really heavy engage. And um, Braum, excellent disengage. Uh, Trundle, good. So their front line, they have both three pretty beefy front liners and Zarath, Zaya squishy and Diana Vayne squishy on the on, uh, blue side. Pretty much, I think the biggest, um, biggest like the big uh, rank differences and potentially um, like uh, champion differences probably going to be jungle because ball sacks is like diamond one or something I don't really know but he's, he's pretty good at jungle I'm not saying Matt's bad but like I mean you're putting a gold player versus a diamond player it's never going to be a fun time um, but we'll yeah. see obviously um, lean cuisine versus gotta go We'll see if uh, Vayne, Vayne is going to dominate, like, uh, what do you call it? Stepping over the stream, who's a co-caster? My friend, Sam. He... Oh, wait. Do I know any... Oh, whatever. In Korea. In the army. Sam, you want to talk about yourself, huh? You got any fun army stories that you, like, I don't know, you call a duty, shot a hundred people in the face or something? We got three minutes before the game starts. Huh? Uh, no. I'm in you the got medical. Got cool field, medical so. stories. You cut people open. You shoot X-rays. You have an X-ray gun. He has a portrait no, at the White no House. Gun. He's a secret agent. <laughs> huh? Got anything cool to share? <laughs> I mean, there was a guy that that came in. He got beat up pretty bad, so I shot an X-ray of his head. Ah, damn! On base. Yeah, people get drunk and get beat up all the time because they say Jesus. stupid stuff to the foreigners. It's a shame. I mean, what do you expect from a person who's, um, I don't know, lived in, like, Idaho or Montana their entire lives and they get sent to a different country? Well, I mean, I'd expect them to act like a professional at least and not get drunk and beat other people. Be I thought you get kicked out of There's the army, of... right? No? What's up? Don't you get kicked out of the army for stuff like that, right? No, you just get in a little bit. You just get in trouble. Huh. 
Oh yeah, you told me you, you said uh, if you like don't show up to work or something, they put a strike on you and they take away your paycheck and they make you work double shifts or something. What well, what was that for again? Not, I don't. Not a, no, no, not if you're late to work. It's just depending on what you do. There's a lot of people that do stupid things, but like I don't know. For example, if you get caught underage drinking, you'll get like but it's called an Article 15. Uh huh. So there's three levels of an Article 15. There's a 15 day extra duty. And then you get, I don't think you get paid, take half pay taken away. I think you just have extra duty for some time. And you have 30 days and you get some of your pay taken away. And then the worst one's the 45 days of extra duty. Jesus Christ. That's. Yeah. You're getting paid for those 45 days or no? So they, you still get paid, but they take pretty much like half your pay. Oh God. <laughs> no, this is so we don't get paid that much. So oh like, my God. I get paid like thirteen hundred, so I would be getting paid like, or I get paid no, no, I get paid eleven hundred, so I get paid six hundred a paycheck, which is which would be brutal. Yeah, like bro, like a normal job, they just fire you, and then they have to like give you severance or something if they fire you for cause, right? Well, uh, you know, technically, I'm in the army side, so I don't know. Like technically, people say uh, you resign, you save face, so you can get a job easier next time, but uh. You get fired for cause, you do get severance pay, I think. At least. So, like, if, if the army wants to get rid of you, they just pay you half and keep you on <laughs> instead. Oh, my God. Holy shit. And those days, like, like, you don't get off work. Like, you'll just be cleaning and stuff until, like, 10 or 11 o'clock, sometimes midnight. Jesus Christ. So it's just, like, oh my yeah. God. Sam, like, you, you like the microwave my piss name? Them. That's, like, my favorite name of all time man it's creative it definitely <laughs> is name it diff. really makes you think what was the thought process of it yeah uh -huh. it's name diff 100 <laughs> percent. yeah if we're gonna go into the picks a little bit i think the braum picks mostly for the big peel on vein because they're their comp looks heavily biased towards uh mid i'd say mid and bot roughly oh wait maybe diane's taking tp instead of ignite which is crazy and Zeras has the barrier. Um, I think definitely, I think blue team's going to lean hard on lean cuisine to uh, to make up the bulk of the damage because Vayne was an absolute metric shit ton. Right, let's pull up the things. I, I is the so They definitely will use the Braum to peel. Right, scoreboard. Uh, where's the timer? How do I get rid of it? There we go. Then objective timers. I guess I'll leave it like that. I don't really care. Well, you can kind of see it. I'm not messing with my you know I'll mess with my mini map just for you guys. On Twitch, it says your stream is black. Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. yeah it looks fine on my I'm playing the right? I'm playing it's the stream working. now. It works now. Okay. okay. Yeah, good. it just took a while for the game to load. It's basically a, a game capture has to be a full screen capture. Right? You're watching on your screen. You're not watching my stream, right? Because my stream's going to be delayed. Yeah, so I'm watching the game on my he screen. Started... But I just have the, I have Cole... the stream on there. Cole just bought a chat. single Rejuve bead and not triple bead pot. And he didn't buy refillable. He bought triple... Wait. Wait. Wait, what is this? <laughs> okay. But single bead top. He's he's definitely looking so, to just farm, I guess. He's not looking for up, anything. Not buying D shield, not buying like D ring or whatever. And he's not going for the lead. Oh, he is going for the lead. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go back to. Funny thing, uh, Wally Bear didn't swap out his uh his ward for a sweeper. Usually, you drop the ward and then you like get the free ward off and then sweep it after. Looks like, um, looks like the microwave my piss coal is gonna miss the first two melee minions. Bane's coming in for a little poke. Hopefully he doesn't get Nautilus hook. Okay, he's fine. Bomb's getting a little poke as well. It's looking like both junglers are gonna go for a full clear. There's no early ganks coming out. Alright, red side gets a fast level 2 bot. 
Looks like they're not gonna go for any aggression because they're farming under turret. They're just gonna back up and go ward. Blue team's gonna hold a freeze in front of their tower. That's big trouble for red team. Thankfully, the jungler, Matt, is not going to be able to gank bot side. He's busy clearing top. Looks like Volibear's coming in for a gank mid. Gets a stun off on Diana. No follow-up. He flashes out. Oh, they both burn flash. We got Diana and Volibear flash as well. Top lane is looking like um, Colt just going to try to farm it out as best he can. Because the bead start doesn't give him enough offense. I really don't get the one B. You can three B if you really want the beads for regen. But D shield's just fine. D shield works just fine. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. At least their CS isn't that different. That's six CS difference, which uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be much worse. Neither bot side had a big engage at all. They're doing is farming. Mid had the gank, but they're pretty even. Diana misses a Q, so he can't go in on Zara. Remember, Zara's stun, it only works really well when he's further away. When he's at point blank range, that stun only lasts like half a second. Flash out from Zara. Wally Bear's gonna get the stun off. Maybe they win the 2v2. Trundle's getting chunked. Diana's going, he's gonna go in. Trundle falls, and Wally Bear gets out. They might be able to turn on Diana as well. Misses a stun. Alright, and she's gonna get out. So red team nets one kill there. Blue team's gonna push in bot, and red team's top side is just gonna hold in front of their tower. It's gonna slow push out, actually. But he's not gonna walk with that. Yep. Yeah. Blue team's bot is pushing in. They might go for a push and reset. What's that recall? He's just gonna get killed. What the fuck? Oh my god. What is going on? Wait, why is it going on? I want to see it. Okay. Alright, he gets out. He has to pop his barrier. He was just a BM recall. I bet you that was a BM recall. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Oh god. All right, blue team's bot side is gonna be pushing in. So I get a little poke off. Red team is a lot healthier and has a better all-in with Nautilus hook. They might be able to catch Vayne if Nautilus gets a good hook off. And the wave's gonna push under their tower, so they have a long lane to run down. I don't know what happened to break the freeze. Maybe they got engaged upon and they had to let the wave crash or something. If Wally Bears on red team is just gonna recall in the bush. They have vision of it. So right now there's there's a uh, okay. It's just gonna be a two on two. Looks like Matt's gonna leave to farm his raptors. Top is still holding the freeze. I think right. Yeah, he's gonna hold that freeze. That's good. Urgot's gonna miss a lot. Top lane's going surprisingly even. I thought Urgot would be bullying him a lot harder because he has a range advantage, but no. Looks like Mr. Microwave My Piss, also known as Cole, also known as My Team Captain, is holding it down top lane and not feeding, which is amazing. Anyway, even if he like dies a lot, Malphite's always gonna be useful with a huge engage with his ulti. And that's probably why they put him on it. He probably doesn't play any top laners, and like anyone could do well on Malphite. He's like, he's, his ult, he's always going to be useful for the big CC, and then his team falls down. Okay, big going on Diana. Diana's just going to take the chunk and back off. Yeah, he's going to get poked out, so the trade's going to be pretty even now. Zerath, he's going in. The jungler's going to follow up. Matt's going to follow up. Yeah, Zerath's dead. Nice. Good pick from blue side. Looks like the Volibear is not going to go for a counter gank. They're just he's just going to soak the wave while uh, blue team goes for dragon. Or oh, maybe they want to turn on Volibear. Yeah, yeah no, nothing's going to happen there. I think Trundle wants to just solo the dragon after ganking bot. Or not solo the dragon, just gank bot and get prio first. Their ways push in. I don't see any good gank opportunities from Volibear or Trundle anyway. Yeah, it looks like he's just gonna go back to farm his camps. Took the scuttle. Top is still frozen under Red's tower. Okay, it's gonna push back now. But he had, he had, you know, they're even in CS. That's amazing. Diana's getting poked out by Zerath mid. And, I mean, that's to be expected. 
She did get a really good all-in with the jungler earlier. And looks like Red Team's gonna be pushing their wave in. Okay, there's a gang coming in from Tundle. They're running into Nautilus. Exhaust coming in on Dane. They get the Nautilus. Very nice. Looks like Rom's gonna flash out. Volibear's coming in for the counter gang. Let's see if he gets a Trundle. He gets condemned into the wall and stunned. Volibear multi forward. He gets munched. So that's an even trade coming in. There is no jungler alive for blue team, while red team's jungler is alive, and I think he's just posturing to scare him off, but there's no way to go for a dive there. Red team might just try to solo the dragon, they don't have smite to contest. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Fly Bear's just gonna go for the dragon. There's... Trump's not gonna get there fast enough. Alright, Malphite in on top is gonna be pushing his wave in. The Urgot misses his E, he doesn't get the good flip in, and they take a pretty red-sided trade top. Now Red's just looking to poke him out. Oh, he does grass. Okay, bot side's getting engaged on, blue side's getting chunked out really hard. Flash forward, trying to get the Braum, Braum survives. Okay, they get, they get, uh, Link to and the Urgot ulti is coming in to kill, uh, kill Malphite. So that chunk earlier didn't matter, turns out. Kill him. Flashes it- oh no, dives into the stun. And then Matt coming in for the counter gang. To scare him off. So right now, looks like blue team's top is slightly ahead. Uh, both team's bots are even. Diana is slightly ahead with a 20 CS lead on Zera. And um, the red team jungler is slightly ahead with 10 CS lead and a kill. Also has boots for a slightly faster gang, so Matt doesn't have any movement speed. Looking for the Tiamat for the faster clear. Is he, going, is he going Titanic first? I mean, I think he's just going Tiamat for the clear. Because he has Sheen. I don't think Sheen builds into Titanic. Or Ravenous. Barely started. Diana's walking down, looking for the scuttle or the roam. I highly doubt they're going for a dive. They want red side to push out before they, before Diana comes in. Diana also has no sweeper. Let's see if there's a ward there. There's no ward, so they have no vision of Diana right now. Looks like Bane's gonna go for the, the scuttle, and red team's getting the big scuttle. Which is the purple one. Wally Bear might want to look for a. Just run mid and drop it. Looks like they just want to run and drop it. Wally Bear's coming in. Diana ulti gets just Wally Bear. Bane coming in from bot for blue. Big ulti in. Disables the tower but does not get the Diana. Zeras getting kited out by Bane. And looks like blue team's gonna take two to three. They're gonna take all three of them. Nautilus might get out. Oh no, it looks like he's dead. Oh my god, he's getting out. Oh my god. Oh, okay, never mind. So that's a three kill lead for blue side on that fight. Red team did not get to drop the Herald. Diana got out with like 1 HP from the ulti. Oh, Diana's gonna gonna get the Zaya. That was pushed up past past the river. Flash forward into the flip from Urgot. Gets a Malphite with the Trundle. Looks like they're gonna take some plates top. There's three people up top, going for plates. Vayne is just leaving bot. Bot's pushing in for blue side anyway, so it's not like there's no fun. Diana gets ambushed by Volibear. Looks like Volibear is gonna try to run her down. Diana turn? Let me see it. Or Diana's just fighting him out, but she's gonna die. Nautilus is there to finish him up. Big shutdown going to Volibear, like 400 gold shutdown. Oh wait, no. What, 600 gold shutdown. Zerath's going top. He said Malphite and Zerath are switching lane for some reason. Wally Bear dropped the Herald Bond. I don't think they take tower. There's three people on the way for blue team. Looks like it's just gonna get a charge and maybe they get one play. There's too many people headed there. I don't think they melt the tower fast enough. They do get four plays though, but the Herald will die. 
Vayne, with the three kills she got, is now slightly ahead of the Zaya. There was nobody mid. Diana was busy getting caught in the jungle, so if she wasn't there, she missed an entire wave. And Malphite was able to take a plate. Looks like Zarath and Malphite want to switch back now. Malphite's getting engaged on by Diana. Diana's ulting in. She Malphite's too tanky to get you know, Oh, never mind. Diana gets gets a trade for Malphite. Oh, hey, Sam, you want to say anything? Uh, uh, I really don't have much to say. All right. I feel bad you're not saying anything. Say, if you got anything to say, say, just you... speak up. I don't know, maybe I just talk loud. You know when they use their ultimate, I, I don't. Like, I, I don't know Volleybear Volley Bear that well, or Zara. Alright. Alright, poke, a little poke coming out from Braum. Bane is not in position to start. Alright, never mind, she's in. PP coming out from Red Team. Looks like it's gonna be Malphite. Malphite ulties in. They get two picks. And looks like they're gonna get trouble, so they got three for one. They burned Malphite. TP, and they're gonna lose top tower for that, but they did get three kills. And I think most of it went to... Uh, one of them went to Zaya, and I think one of them went to uh, either Volibear or... Um, anyway, it's not on the support, which is what counts. They want the gold on the, the mid bot and top. Looks like Volibear, uh, bot tower is gonna go down from blue side. Volibear is gonna solo this dragon. Smite almost gets stolen by Diana Q, but he got it in time. Nautilus matching the Urgot top, huh? But he's gonna be able to get this farm. Definitely right now, it looks like um, Diana, like I said earlier, blue team Diana and uh, Lean Cuisine are gonna be the main focus. Urgot does have 113 CS, which is roughly double of Malphite's, which is also gonna be a problem because that's a big front line. Um, yeah, Matt is getting gapped a little bit by uh, ball sack. I mean, that's to be expected. Gold versus diamond. But, yeah, the, the Volibear ganks have been pretty good. Like, really good. Uh, they're just trying their best to, red team's trying their best to wave clear. Looks like blue doesn't want to go for a siege or anything. They don't have the numbers either. Link Cuisine's farming out bot. There's three people showing mid. Or, Zeras in bot side jungle right now. And Volibear's in base. They're just two people mid. I'm surprised Vayne wants to solo the sideway farm. Usually they'd switch the bot lanes out to match mid after the first turret goes down bot, but Vayne's matching the 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 um, what is that instead. Usually it would be the mid matching the the other mid side lane. The the ADC would want to be with the support in mid, shorter lane, safer. It has a tower up so you can't get run down stuff like that. But Looks like Lean Cuisine just wants to farm. Looks like they're posturing. Both teams are posturing top. Oh, never mind. It's just blue team posturing close top side for the next Herald, I assume. Yeah, Herald's gonna be up in 30 seconds. Volibear's farming his bot side camp. Looks like he's gonna start rotating up to mid. Blue team getting deep vision in and clearing vision on their on red team's top side jungle. Urgot has priority top, and looks like um, looks like they're just gonna go for the herald. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna go back to direct. Oh, Bane going in on Volley Bear. They know Volley Bear's bot, and now they're all grouped up mid. Diana dashing into that two CS. <laughs> kind of risky, but it worked. I'm surprised. Usually you just walk up in auto instead of using it. Now that does burn mana. And it's going to harvest her, so it does have to worry about it a little bit. Alright, it looks like the two ADCs are bought. Looks like they're just gonna farm it out. No big engagement coming out. Teams are both posturing without their ADCs on Scuttle. There's a lot of wards coming out. Red team has better vision as a ward of- Oh! Bane's going in, getting a little poke off, but looks like it was an even trade. Looks like no one's going for the Herald. Diamond going in on Zerath, baiting out the Nautilus Q, and they're just gonna back off on that. Oh, looks like Trundle might get caught out. There's four people on red team. Looks like he's gonna get engaged upon. 
Big pillar to block the stun from Volley Bear and he gets out. Flash forward from Volley Bear, he gets a Diana and his stun. Big Malphite ulti gets a two people. Nautilus ulti follow up. Red team loses the Volley Bear and gets no kills for that. A lot of ultimates used, a lot of CC used, but they didn't have the damage followed up because the ADCs were in bot lane. It was just Zerath doing the damage. And that wasn't enough. They were too tanky. The burst was just got munched up and they had nothing else to follow up with. If they had the ADC mid instead of the Zarath mid, I think that would have been a much bloodier fight, at least. The Zarath just didn't have the sustain damage. Looks like Zaya's gonna catch out the Vayne with a stun. Oh no, they get out. That stun under tower could have been deadly. Oh, if only direct the camera pan downwards instead of forwards. Zarath's coming bot to soak up the wave while their ADC resets. Looks like uh, Linkazine wants to take the club. And uh, Malphite's heading up topside to soak the wave, so he's not going to be there for the team fight. His TP is going to be up in like 30 seconds. His ulti is going to be also up probably by the time they need him to TP for Dragon. Diana's just just sitting there looking for a pick on Zerath. TP's coming in from blue team. It's going to be Urgot. Urgot's following up, gets a flip off on Volley Bear. Urgot has her damage. Does he get the XP off? Gets one, at least. Flash forward from both Diana and Urgot. They both get killed. Oh, Nautilus is so low. That's a two for one for a red team. So red team came out ahead. Now they're gonna look for a dragon fight while Nautilus resets. So it's still gonna be a three for three fight while Nautilus has to walk back. Oh, there's actually, blue team might be looking. Malphite gets pillared and they're gonna run at him, but he's gonna get out because he has to move speed juice up from his Q. Looks like blue team's just gonna rush it. Because uh, Volley Bear was dead, so there's no smite to back it up. And Trundle has enough damage to beat up the dragon by himself. Red team's walking up. Pulse looking for an ulti, gets the ulti. And gets gets the jungler, and gets the steal on top of that. Red team coming in for the cleanup. Diana is going to get to Zaya. Gets stunned by Zerath, gets chunked out. Let's see if Zerath one auto gets it. Yes. Bane gets picked as well. Looks like red team's going to... Clean up the fight and run through mid. Try to get mid turret. That was a four for one fight for red side. Funnily enough, the gold difference is only 2k, so it's still anyone's game. But that was an excellent fight from red side. If they had Baron up, Baron's gonna be up in two seconds, so they should run directly to Baron. They're not even going for tower. Oh, looks like they're scared of Diana teleport, so it looks like they're just gonna go for tower instead. Right, yeah, Urgot's too tanky to die. Like they get turrets though. Yeah, they looks like blue team came up too fast and red team wasn't comfortable enough going for the Baron. Also, Zaya wasn't there to rush it because she was dead. So they didn't have the speed to burn it down. So that's Zaya is essentially the only major source of damage. Like at least sustained damage in the fight. Zareth has excellent poke, excellent range, but in like a in a short like bloody fight he's gonna he's gonna not have the damage to um you know because he has long cooldowns like five six seconds right he wants to just keep on poking and zoning the enemy out and once they're in kill range he pops his ulti and tries to snipe someone and all that can be done at like super long range oh i guess uh ball sacks has uh, sustained damage from volley bear as well they, they really have to protect the ADC because that sustained damage during the fight, they need that to win. I remember they took the excellent engage and they just hit like three ultimates in a row. And if the ADC was there um, from red team, they could have mopped them up, but they just didn't have the damage to follow up with that, which was a shame. That was a weird game. Diana is going to catch out Malphite. Malphite's going to walk out, uh, ulti out. It means no Malphite ulti, no TP Malphite ulti for another minute. Red team looks like looks like they want to go try to catch out Urgot. Oh no! Looks like looks like it's just gonna be the ADC from Red team that's gonna hold the wave. It's gonna soak up the wave. Urgot's resetting to buy. So right now the gold difference is massive in mid because uh, Zareth has a 500 gold bounty, has two items. I assume he's gonna he has a fully stacked dark seal. Let's see if he buys a magic. I really doubt it. Nautilus hook. Falls short. 
doesn't go far enough to hit the terrain and pull himself towards it, but uh, yeah. yeah. But never mind, when I was talking about Xerath's sustain damage, I think his, his AP might just be high enough just to start one-shotting people at max range anyway. But yeah, but that's all burst, and he needs to be able to just continuously do it, I guess. Looks like they're gonna try to collapse an Urgot. Stun on Urgot. Wallybear's getting gunned down. Let's see if Nautilus has to fall. Exhaust on the Urgot. Yeah, look. Nautilus ulti, followed up by Wallybear ulti, followed up by Baron. And they're gonna go for the Baron. They're gonna try to take the 45. Bane is resetting. Trundle is atop under tower. They melted too fast. They're not even gonna be able to get into position. Looks like Red Team just got the Baron. So we have... Alright, Brom's getting zoned out. The Baron's at half health. Matt's not in position to smite, looks like they're just gonna give it. That's a one and a half gold lead given to red, so the total gold lead is gonna be roughly like four or five-ish. Blue team was splitting bot. Um, blue team does not have the minion wave to back it up, so it looks like she won't be able to get power. Zaras ulting just to clear the wave and get a little poke off on Diana, but Diana's gonna get out and she's not gonna get super strong. Dragon's gonna be up in 50 seconds. And blue team looks like they want to fight it. Looks like they want to stack this bush where Vayne's sitting. They have the pink ward. They know there's no vision. Let's see if they get a really good engage on somebody. Nautilus is face checking. Nautilus used a sweeper so they know he was in the bush. Nautilus is going to get out using his hook to pull himself to the tower. And looks like nobody is picking from the bush camp. Meanwhile, red side's coming in for the wraparound. But the team isn't there to follow up. Nautilus is gonna back up from that. Alright, I'm just gonna leave undirected again. Malphite is farming bot wave. He's not with the team right now. He's not in position to use a nice bailout ulti. Okay, he's grouping up right now. The longer this posturing goes on, the more it favors red side with Zerath poke. If he constantly pokes out Vayne, she's gonna be easier to kill during the team fight, and then red team's main ADC damage source is gonna be dead. Malphite with a big flank, flash ulti over into Volibear's stun. Big engage coming from Red Team. Okay, so it looks like Volibear and the Malphite did get picked. This is looking more sided towards Red Team still, actually. Okay, never mind. The team coming in with a quadro. All three of it on the ADC. Oh my god, that, that fight was really coin flippy. Holy shit. I was really worried when I saw the the Malphite and oh flash out flash flash in from Diana flash out from Zerath. I was really worried when I saw the Wally Bear and the Malphite go all in and the team the rest of Red Team was fighting their front lane that was diving them and they the two of them died but uh, Zaya was able to stay alive during that entire fight killed the front lane that was diving her and also was able to clean up the weakened uh, people that Wally and Malphite dived on. And all the kills went on um, went on Zareth and uh, Zaya, the exact people you want them on. Those are the main damage dealers of Red Team. <laughs> I mean, half my analysis is not bad. Not half. I feel like. 25-30% of it might be a little bit off. I was say, you've done an amazing job covering everything. Uh, I don't know, but like I that mean... fight, I did not know what was gonna happen. Okay, Urgot's getting power dive. Diana's coming in with big ulti. Malphite's gonna die here. Wally Bear does not have- or Wally Bear does have the ulti. He's not using it to disable the tower. Or Zai's getting picked mid with Trundle and Bane. Wally Bear's gonna die here. Never mind, he might get the Diana. He's getting the Diana. He's gonna get the Vayne. He's gonna get the Braum as well. And he's gonna live. Oh my god, what an insane die. I was extremely confused why he was saving the ulti. I think he should have just popped the ulti, disabled the tower immediately, and then he died. But no, it worked out for him. So, yeah. Trundle is good to smite steal on the Grom. 
<laughs> Molly Bear question mark. I oh, know. Zerath <laughs> question mark thingy and ball sacks calling him a nerd. Yeah, show him his boss, Mr. Ball Sack. Trundle is gonna catch bot wave. That's pushing it under tower. It's, he probably gets like 10 CS off that. Red team is is uh, split up right now. Two of them are mid seeking tower. Looks like they're gonna get tier two tower. Zarath is bot side getting the blue buff, and looks like they're just gonna clean out camps and group up. Malphite's gonna be splitting top. He's gonna walk face first into Urgot. He's not scared. He's gonna zone him out. Urgot does have two items, and Malphite only has like some components of the second item and is also 40 CS down. I don't know why Urgot just doesn't walk up there. I think he was scared because he didn't have vision of the rest of the red team. Looks like the red team's going to collapse on 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 uh, Malphite, but Malphite has his ult to get out. Oh, they're just going to back up. They were spotted out by the the Scuttle Corpse vision cone. Dianeth bush camping, going in on Zerat. Gets stunned real quick. Has a second dash, has the ulti follow up. We have the Volibear follow up and the TP coming in from, from Malphite. And they catch out the Diana. Big Malphite ulti going for the cleanup. No Malphite ulti for next like, 30, 40 seconds. But they're running to Baron. Red team wants to go. Oh no, they're, they're gonna take the tower first, probably. Oh, the big confusion on who's tanking or who's doing. Looks like they decided to back up. Malphite shield just absorbed all that damage. <laughs> This past oh big Nautilus hook coming in, catching out the Bane. Looks like Bane's gonna die here. Power dive coming in from Volley Bear. Blue team, a uh, red team takes blue team's turret. Yeah, this game. Oh, the gold advantage for red team is roughly 10k, it's like 9k, which is insane. The game was looking fairly even then up to like, I'd say up up till the the up, up till blue team uh, gave up Baron because they didn't want to take the fight or something. Now they're gonna get an inhibitor. They got another pick on Brom. Vayne, uh, not Vayne, um, the, the Zaya and the, the blue man. He's blue, he's a freaking rock monster. Zarath. Yeah, the Zarath and the, the Zaya are really big problems, and their frontline team is very good at tanking for them. Got three people going in hot to heal for the uh, two damage dealers in the back. Looks like blue team can't be contested. The Baron's just gonna die too fast. Diana's coming in. Tumble's not even close. He's just gonna on. They're gonna give the second Baron as well. Gold differential is still like 10k. Looks like red team wants to group up for top inhibitor, and they're gonna send one guy splitting bot. Oh. Oh no, looks like it might be a... Oh, looks like they're only gonna send the ADC bot, and they're gonna send the rest of the team mid. Malphite has no TP for two minutes, so I pinged that out. Elder's gonna be up in 50 seconds. I think Red Team wants to try to end the game before they can lose a coin flip fight at Elder and then have the game flip on the head. They want to go for an aggressive push mid, looks like. Never mind, they're gonna they're gonna walk up into Blue Team's push camp. Malphite's just getting shot at. Nautilus coming in. They have no damage healers on Red Team's side. It's all the front line just getting caught, but they don't mind because they're super easy. Volley Bear coming in with a ton. <laughs> the being coming down from Volley Bear walking up to Urgot, gets his stun off. Looks like that there's not gonna be a firewall from there. Big engage from Volley Bear into Zanya, into a Malphite ulti. The the Zanya's getting getting kills. She's she's mopping up the entire team. Yeah, it looks like red team's just gonna end here. They have supers in the base, entire side of blue team is dead, and yeah, it looks like looks like red team just cleaned it up. They kept the lead. They held the lead. They got the lead first in like what ten minutes ago, I say, like twenty minutes in. It was fairly even up till then. Up till they lost the Baron, they were at like a what, two K gold lead, three K gold lead, and then the Baron gave him like a five K gold lead or something. Your biggest mistake was leaving the dog. There we go. Good showing from both teams. Red team came out on top. The Zarath and the the uh, Zayab was they crushed it. All right. Um, we get someone.
You might be on Malphite duty. <laughs> never. I'm never playing fucking Malphite. Jesus. All right. Uh, let's go to the lobby, I guess. Um. Okay. Can you send some? By the way, I'm never playing that champ ever. Never ever ever. All right, we're in general chat if anyone wants to join. Oh, shit. I I think who to tell. Uh if Ballsax is watching, can someone they send someone uh, to general? Thanks, bro. All right, Sam, did you say anything that entire? Was that just a solo cast? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wait, he's that in the other. Funny. He's in. Yeah. Sam, Sam, go to the other general in. Uh, oh, never mind. He came to us. All right. Hey, what's up, Mr. Ballsax? You guys crushed it game three. Good job. Uh, it's actually Ballsax, but yeah. Oh, you don't like uh, being called Ballsax? I thought that's what the innuendo was, no? No, it was just, you know, fifth grade me playing the saxophone uh. and making a. Uh, Name, oh, so uh, you don't want to be called ball sax right. then that's gonna be a hard habit to yeah. drop i should Damn. probably name chance to be honest <laughs> i know i like it i think it's great appreciate that dude i didn't even know what it was until sam told me about it <laughs> i'm like why is that <laughs> all right never mind anyway, that is the innuendo but yeah my bad no, just, how how did um how did cool how did Cole pan out top? I think he did fairly well into Ergon. I was surprised. I thought he'd go a lot worse. And also, what was up with that single Rejuve beat start? That's insane. Cole's a fucking madman. This guy joins our team, thinks he's playing Teemo top. Like I said, no, you're playing Malphite. Oh, you didn't That's let him play Teemo top? He was, seriously? He was, he was a piece <laughs> on Malphite, though. But the, the tech in the beginning is because... He's a support man. He bought the support item and then ended up having to sell oh, it. Oh, that's what happened. Wait, that's what happened. God. <laughs> yeah, so that was definitely not on purpose. Ah, okay. Yeah, the same thing happened to Sam. He bought he bought the support item for Amumu when he was doing jungle and he didn't realize it until I pointed it out. I'm like, why do you have a support item? And he's like, oh shit. So he reset. He didn't even he wasn't even able to buy his jungle item. So he was he was literally holding onto the support item, dying to jungle camps until like five minutes where he could finally afford it. Uh. All junglers been there before. Oh my god. Anyways, um, uh, I assume you. What's your uh, champ pool for jungle? Because uh, you guys, your comp. Game. I really liked how your three frontline comp was really able to peel for the Zerath and uh, Zaya to mop up the fights. I feel Why like that worked that, out really well. I felt like I wasn't peeling at all, and I was just running in monkey style and having a blast. But... Well, it worked, and that's what counts. Yeah, no, my, my mid laner said, whatever you do, don't pick me Zerath, pick your jungle here, and I picked him as Zerath. Uh -huh. He got mad, and so he, he said, don't pick me Zerath. Cracking out. Yeah, he was, he was scared. He was like, oh, geez. I don't want to play it. Because like, I wanted, I, I didn't want to blind jungle, because I blinded jungle the first two games, and I was kind of pissed about it. So I was uh -huh. like, no, you're blinding mid, because, you know, I'm the captain. I, I can do that, because I'm cool. You're really doing then, that? <laughs> it, it's crazy how when we blind mid and then give jungle counterpick, the game's just that much easier. Yeah, I, I get the performance anxiety from being a main and a champion, and it's like uncomfortable playing it because you have to, you know, meet your own expectations or whatever. Like I have, I felt the same thing. Like I get that. Yeah, that was me on my our first game when I played Gragas, which is my main. That uh -huh. like getting shit on, which didn't feel too hot. Because it was actually the first game my Gragas actually was open in any of these games. Ah. And I got to pick it, and then they just picked, like, Yeah, don't don't let a single sample games. bother you. Like, it's all about, like, playing consistent, I guess. Like, one game's always going to be an outlier from another. 
No, we, we, we fixed our mistakes from the first game and then mm-hmm. turned it around the first sweep. So proud of my team. That's good. Sam, you got any questions? No, just well played, and I really like the team comp. I like the three tanks, front lining, and the peel back. Basically, oh, yeah. it. Uh, what what do you think about the the Gore Drinker Conqueror nerfs next patch? Oh, it's about time. Honestly. About time. All right. Yeah, I agree on the Gore Drinker man, but Conqueror is making me salty. I run Conqueror on fucking everything. It makes me so sad. Yeah, uh, as a top laner, are, assassins are running Conqueror. Drinker, you know something's wrong. Yeah, with I get that. That's all right. Uh, you want to call it here? I mean, I don't really ha- can't think of anything. Sure. Else. Appreciate right. the interview. Well, yeah, no problem, dude. Good game and good I hope job. To see you guys later. Right, see ya. All right, Sam. Uh, apparently, Rich told me I gotta thank the people watching. So thank you, eleven people who tuned in. Uh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> um. Yeah, Sam didn't really say anything. He's brand new to League. But, I mean, I had a blast, and that's what fucking counts. So, yeah. I had fun casting, and I hope you had fun watching. Sam, you got any, like, I don't know, messages or anything? Um, No, just other than I'm new, so I didn't really say much. Uh, but thank you okay. all for watching. <laughs> gotcha. All right. See ya.